Hello, second grade. Today I'm going to show you a subtracting strategy that will make subtracting horizontally or side to side a bit easier. We are going to make more friendly numbers to make subtracting easier. And friendly numbers end in zero, like 10, 20, 30. Our first subtracting problem is 89 take away 11. And the second one is 71 take away 42. So we'll use our friendly number strategy for those first two problems. So 89 take away 11. How can I do this quickly and in my head? Well, 11 is made up of 10 and 1. 10 plus 1 makes 11. It's much easier to subtract 10 from 89. 89 minus 10 is 79. And then if I take away one more from 79, I get 78. Let's try one more to make sure we understand how to use friendly numbers. Remember friendly numbers end in zero. If I would like to subtract 42, make 42 into a friendlier number. 40 plus two makes 42. It's much easier to subtract 40 from 71 and I get 31. 31 take away two. Before we do that, let's check our work on a 100 chart. So, Remember that on a 100 chart, when you move side to side, you're moving by ones. If you go forward, that's one more. And if you go backward, that's one less. When we move up and down within a column, we're moving by tens. So if I move up, I notice that the numbers get smaller. And that's 10 less. When I move down and the numbers get bigger, 10 more. So if we look at 71 take away 42, where is my 71? Right there. 71 take away 40 because 42 is made up of a 40 and a 2. So let's move up and down this column so that we can jump by tens each time. 10, 20, 30, 40. Where did I land? 31. 71 take away 10 is 61. Take away another 10, 51. Another 10, 41. And our last 10, 31. We have already subtracted the 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, but now we need to subtract two. So we'll move side to side. We're not moving by tens anymore. We're moving by ones. That's take away one, moving backwards. And here's take away two, moving backwards. So 71, take away 42 is, remember 31, 30, 29. And the last trick I would like to show you today is brought to you by the number nine. When we are subtracting, let's say we start with 75. And we're subtracting nine. Or maybe we're subtracting 19. Or maybe we are subtracting 29. It doesn't matter. As long as the number ends in nine, you can use this trick. So let's start off with 75, take away nine. Nine is very close to 10. In fact, all you have to do is add one and you can get to 10. So this strategy shows you an easier way by changing the nine into a 10. 
it's much easier to take away 10 from 75 than to take away 9. 75 minus 10 is 65. But is that our final answer? Mm -hmm. The plus 1. I have to plus 1 to 65 to get the correct answer of 66. So how does this trick work? Anytime you're subtracting with a 9, change it into a 10 and subtract 10. Add 1 to your answer. Make it a 10, add 1. Make it a 10, add 1. Make it a 10, add 1. Okay, just to be sure we got this, let's try 75 minus 19. My trick, make it a 10, add 1. If I'm going to make 19 a 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 19 is closest to 20. So when we say make it a 10, it means 19 becomes 20, and we subtract. Easy peasy, 55. Make it a 10, add 1. My final answer would be 56. 75 take away 19 is 56. And my make it a 10, add 1 strategy is a little bit quicker for my brain than doing the typical borrowing and regrouping. All right, guys, hope this video will help you as you complete the rest of this worksheet that you saw in this video at home. And remember, if you don't have access to a printer, you can use paper and pencil. And I can't wait to see your hard work at our next Zoom meeting. Bye-bye.